There are probably more clauses of back pain than there are letters in the alphabet. And it all goes back to the complex structure that is the spine itself. Not only do you have bones, you have muscles, you have ligaments, you have tendons, you have cartilage, you have discs, you have nerves, uh, many things that all are supposed to come together and for the most part to do and work fairly elegantly and effortlessly. The back is made up of your vertebrae and each of those bones or vertebrae have a disc that sits in between them. And you want that disc to stay in place and protect the vertebrae from damage over time. But through wear and tear or through injury, that disc can move out of position. And that's when you will find that it can put pressure on the nerves. The nerves that travel from the spinal cord to your arms and legs really control your movements and they determine whether or not you experience pain. So if there's compression there, your body can start to send abnormal pain signals or in severe cases it can lead to weakness or loss of use of your arm or leg. So being able to target each of those nerves, knowing where they are, knowing uh, which nerves are responsible for which function is instrumental in knowing how to approach a patient that has low back pain. If the symptoms are severe enough or if they're not improving with the standard treatments, we may refer a patient to get an injection in the back to help reduce the pain symptoms. And in more severe cases, we may refer them for radiofrequency ablation. The radiofrequency ablation is one of the thermal ablation modalities that are available to treat disease. Ablation is a fancy word, but it, it means tissue destruction. We can target nerves using, for the most part, two basic flavors, either heat or cold. The way we deliver that heat or cold is via small probes. They're little needles, basically, that we percutaneously, through the skin, insert under imaging guidance very precisely to the area where we know are nerves that cause a certain pain. And the way we can deal with that kind of pain is we can target the sensory nerves, so nerves that supply sensation to that area and stun or destroy a small section of the nerve that then interrupts that pain signal and thus the patient is no longer aware of the pain, no longer experiences pain. So the hope is if you reduce the pain, um, you can add in things like physical therapy or slowly increase physical activity, which overall should help the health of the spine. I love being here at Yale because we can work as a multidisciplinary team and I can talk with others in similar specialties that see the patients that I follow and we can come up with a very good game plan. Any given day I see five to six new consults for management of not just low back pain but other types of pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, uh, any number of things that we deal with. I think minimally invasive procedures have provided great pain relief for patients where there didn't used to be great options. There's something to be said about being at a place like Yale where we have the expertise and the volume of patients that allows us to maintain and further refine this expertise to further serve our patients.